Hi friends, it's Heidi M with my first installment of films that I'm picking for this year's Hot Docs Canadian International Documentary Film Festival. So the way that I'm doing it this year is I'm going by programs, not specific to any sort of filmmaker region or themes. I just thought I would go through the actual paper version of the schedule, which is a little old school, but it's also more tangible for me, and kind of start from the beginning and, and kind of work my way through the programming listings to give you some of my picks for this year's festival. So the festival starts on April 27 until May 7. So a lot of you probably already have your picks um, all ready to go. But I thought that this, um, this installment and the next ones will give you an insight of what I'm looking forward to seeing and also maybe giving you some options to add to your calendar or your schedule if you haven't added these to your listings yet. So I want to start with... Uh, a mention of two programs, one called Roads to Regeneration, which is a compilation of eight inspirational short films, the documentaries, as you know. They are executive produced by Hot Dogs and they are presented by SAP. And the idea behind this program is to showcase innovative ideas from everyday people around the world. The program is uh, comprised of eight short documentaries, uh, most of them Canadian or Canadian co-productions with other uh, countries. So that's the Roads to Regeneration program. Next is the world premiere of Citizen Minutes, and this is volume two of this uh, program. And the idea is that they are a collection of short documentaries commissioned by Hot Docs, and they aim at celebrating and inspiring civic engagement. So these are all Canadian short documentaries. That's Citizen Minutes, and it's comprised of seven short docs. Moving on to the special presentations program, it's one of the biggest ones at the festival, and it includes the opening film, Twice Colonized, which I had the privilege of screening at Sundance earlier this year. It is such a powerful documentary that I really, really encourage you to try to attend in person. If you cannot make the opening night screening, that's okay. It has two other screenings on Friday, April 28th and Monday, May 1st. Uh, the film is by director Lynn Aluna, and it revolves around renowned Greenlandic Inuk lawyer, Aju Peter. And it, she is a force to be reckoned with. And the idea is that the film is a look at her life from her younger years to where she's at today um, as an activist and making waves wherever she goes. So that's twice colonized the open night, opening night film. Um, also on the special presentations program, we have Black Barbie, a documentary by Laguerra Davis from the US. And the idea is, you know, making us think about a black counterpart to the Barbie that we know from Malibu. And um, this film is looking at the true story of Black Barbie from her origins to her contemporary presence in Mattel's universe of dolls. And that film also has three screenings on Saturday, April 29th, May 2nd, and May 6th. Third on my list of special presentations is El Equipo by director Bernardo Ruiz from the U.S. The film follows um, a 40-year journey through the work of a very resilient team of forensic scientists, uh, which are led by the legendary Dr. Clyde Snow, um, as they try to uncover and identify the victims of authoritarian regimes across Latin America and the world. I am very curious about this film. I have not screened it yet. So that is El Equipo. It screens on May 2nd and May 6th. Next on my list, of special presentations is Invisible Beauty by Betham Hardison and Frederick Chang. And this is a film looking at the pioneering black model, Betham Hardison, who turns the camera on herself as she takes us behind the runway and into her life as an agent, activist, um, and a mentor as well in the fight for, for, for racial diversity. 
this film is part of the Big Ideas program, and um, that Big Ideas in conversation will take place on May 2nd. But there are two other screenings for Invisible Beauty, May 4th and May 7th. Next, from special presentations, are two um, musical documentaries, as I call them. So their documentary is looking at um, icons like Joan Baez, I Am a Noise by director Karen O'Connor, Miri Nowaski, and Maeve O'Boyle. And it's looking at the world, both often on stage in terms of John Bias's career. And um, the next, that film, before I forget, has four screenings on Thursday, April 27, April 28, April 29, and May 4th. Next, we have Love to Love You, Donna Summers. Who doesn't love Donna Summers? So the idea is that um, this film by director Roger Ross Williams and Brooklyn Sedano are featuring an exclusive um, previously unseen footage, the life and times of the one and only Donna Summer. Um, and the idea is that we want to get more into her iconic voice that has changed music forever. So that is Love to Love You, Donna Summer. It screens three times, April 28th, April 30th, and May 1st. Next on my special presentations list is Praying for Armageddon, and it's getting a lot of reactions from what I hear, and is a film by directors Tanya Haas and Shea, I hope I pronounced that correctly, and Michael Rowley from Norway. And the film is looking at the machinery of U.S. politics, powerful American evangelists pushing to realize the biblical prophecy of Armageddon and manifesting the apocalypse. It sounds really interesting. I have um, yet to screen it, but again, I'm hearing a lot of interesting bits about Praying for Armageddon, which screens on May 2nd, May 4th, and May 7th. Fun fact, the composer for these documentary score is Uno Helmerson, whom I've spoken to in the past. He tends to work with some very interesting filmmakers in um, the documentary genre. So look out for um, more on Praying for Armageddon. Also coming from Sundance and other festival circuits, uh, we have Stephen Curry, Underrated by director Peter Nix. And the film explores the life of one of the greatest NBA players, playing today um, with a lot of unprecedented access in terms of his humble beginnings to where he's at in terms of his record-breaking career. Um, Stephen Curry, under, underrated, plays on April 29th, May 5th, and May 6th. So those are the first few films that I want to showcase at this year's um, Hot Dogs in Canadian International <laughs> Film Festival is always a mouthful. Um, so these are eight films and two programs um, that I mentioned, Road to Gen Regeneration and Citizen Minutes, along with films from the Special Presentations program. All of these films and details about the themes in the film, the director's uh, venues are available at hotdocs.ca. A reminder that screenings in terms of tickets vary from $19 to $22. And if you're a member, the ticket pricing is $17 to $19. Uh, the special events like the um, Big Ideas programs, uh, those tickets are usually a little bit more. They're about $26. Um, you can also get six ticket bundles for about $99 or $89 for members. So there are different ways to access hot dogs this year. Um, again, the place to check out the information for the festival is hotdogs.ca. Stay tuned. I'm coming back with volume two with another 10 uh, films that I'm looking forward to seeing at this year's Hot Dogs.